Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kristen and I post DIY, lifestyle, and shop with me videos every week. If you like all of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss a future video. Today, we are going to be doing an Amazon wig try-on haul. I have been seeing these videos all over YouTube and I have been dying to try out some wigs for the longest time. So I was hoping I could wear some of these out and about to give my hair a break from like heat styling and dyeing and everything. By the way guys, if you have any good recommendations for some deep conditioners or good hair treatments or anything to help with this breakage, let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's uh, get started. So I have a box of 12 synthetic Amazon wigs. These range in price between like $17.99 and maybe like $40, close to $40. I got a whole bunch of different styles and colors. So guys, I am not a wig expert. If I am doing something wrong with these wigs, I apologize in advance. So I just have on like some normal everyday makeup and I also just put on like a plain black tank top so that the wigs can really have their moment to shine <laughs> and they're not being influenced by, you know, liking the outfit or anything. First things first, wig cap. So this is the first one. This one has these little clips in the back. I've seen some people try to clip these like that. That's not what you do. I don't know much about wigs, but I do know that you use these clips back here to adjust the size so you can make it tighter or looser by clipping it onto these little elastic bands in the back. They said you're supposed to flip. Holy crap, this one is so much hair. So this is the first wig. This is from Charisma and it's insanely long, like insanely long and thick. Honestly, it's like too much hair, but it does look really pretty. And I love like there's different gold tones in it. But one thing that I don't like here is the part only goes back to here and then the rest of this is slicked back and you can't really part this where you want it. So yeah, I did wear this out one time with a beanie. So let me show you what that looked like. That's the only way I think I, I could wear this wig is with a beanie, which makes it look so cute. Actually putting on a beanie just kind of saves all wigs. It makes everything a lot more natural and stuff because the worst parts of the wig are right up front, right by the hairline. I would actually cut a little bit off of the bottom to make it look a little more natural. It's really, really long, but wig number one. Okay guys, so this is wig number two and I freaking love it. I love the pink. It obviously needs some work. Since we have 12 wigs, I don't have enough time to actually style every single one of them. This one is definitely gonna be a keeper. It makes it a lot more realistic because it's short and it has roots. I didn't really get to play around with the back too much, but this is the back. It's nice and short. Absolutely love this. Like that looks amazing. Like I would wear this. I would absolutely definitely wear this out. So next on the list. Oh, it came with little earrings. That's nice. Oh, this is blue. I'm excited. This one's blue and it has bangs. I thought that since the problem with a lot of the wigs is what it looks like right here, I thought maybe that bangs would solve the problem. So. I can't see. Oh, this is interesting. This is like a whole new vibe here. The top is kind of sketchy, like that's not super real. Also, the quality of the inside of the wig is definitely not as nice as the other ones, probably because it's a lot cheaper. But I love the style of this. And I love that the blue is like two-tone, so I'm not sure if you can see with this light. All right, this one's going in the maybe pile and I'm gonna mess with it later and I'll come back to you with some final thoughts. Of course, if we throw it on with a beanie, everything looks amazing. So since I'm on the short hair kick, I think that the short hair wigs look a little bit nicer or like a little more realistic than the long haired ones. Oh my God, this one is my absolute favorite. I'm definitely keeping this one. This kind of looks like my real hair, but so much healthier and nicer. This is like everything that I've wanted it to be. I love the short look. I'm going to actually clean up some of the stuff. So I'm gonna watch some tutorials on how to pluck out some of the front lace and down the middle. And if you guys are interested in a video like that, let me know in the comments below. This is my favorite. We still have a couple more to go, but I don't know that any of them are as realistic as this one. I am in love. I love it. Love it so much. 
All right, so next up we have Noble. So this is another short pink one with roots, but this one has bangs on the cheaper side. It feels cheap. The lace isn't very nice. You can see, I don't even think it's lace. This isn't lace. This one actually might look more realistic because there's not nearly as much hair as some of the other ones. This would be so cute for like a cosplay costume or something. This one is very, very cute. Actually, I really like it. I wanna find one that is exactly like this, but better quality. This one doesn't have, if your wig, if someone was to like brush your hair back, this is what they would see. So you have to make sure this stays down and like frames your face the entire time. I love the color. I actually like it's a little bit rattier because it makes it look more realistic. Love the bang situation. And I like everything about it, except for the fact that the top looks insanely fake. And of course, if you throw a beanie on it, they all look great. They look amazing with beanies. Honestly, this one probably looks the most realistic given the fact that it looks like your hair is just a little bit dead from being dyed so many times, honestly. Like this looks more like real hair than some of those really ridiculously thick ones. I kind of like this one a lot. If you're not doing so already, head over to Instagram and follow me. My tag is at TV. I'm always posting my shopping adventures, posting everything that I'm buying and purchasing from Amazon. So definitely go over there and check me out. We all go through phases where we wanna change our hair color because we want a change and we think it would look nice. But I highly recommend getting a wig first to see if you like it. I actually dyed my hair brown before and I absolutely hated it, but Recently, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I'd like my hair brown again. So let's find out. This one's also super cheap. It's probably $17.99. It is not good quality, but it's short and has bangs. So let's see. I actually don't hate this. This is really, really weird. This one's not good quality. There's like a little flap here. If you look straight on, you can kind of see it. However, this is not a lot of hair, which makes it look super realistic. So I love the style. I need better bangs though. The second you move these bangs, they get really messed up. But I actually kind of really like this, like a different person, like your alter ego. What would my alter ego name be? I don't know. Comment below what my alter ego name should be. I need to start her an Instagram account. <laughs> Again, they all look great with the beanies. This wig makes me want to go dye and chop off my hair. This is such a great way to mix it up without actually having to commit. We have this purple moment from Charisma. Now this is not a lace front wig. This one is just straight up came like this. It's also not like it's this weird netting on the inside. All right, so the problem with this guy is because it's not a lace front, it's just, it's like a big, no, it's like a big line. Like you can just tell. It just sits right on top. I mean, it could be a look. It's fine for like a cosplay or something but if you were to actually wear this out in public, it's so very obvious if you're talking to someone that this is, literally, it's like a big thick band under here. However, the color is gorgeous. I love this lavender color. Oh my God. It is so fake, so unrealistic and unnatural, but it looks great with a beanie. I would actually wear this out because like people know it's fake, but you're making a statement. Like this is a statement piece kind of wig. And it's like a light lavender. I don't know if the camera's picking up the correct color. Lovely little purple moment here. Okay guys, so I don't, I honestly, I don't remember buying all of these wigs. <laughs> But apparently I was having a short wig moment with the bangs, same seller. I guess I feel like I added them all to my cart and then I just said, screw it. And I just checked out and I got them all because I couldn't decide on a color. So here's another short one with the bangs. I love the style. I love the style. It's so nice. I wish it was better quality, but I love the style. Bangs on wigs make them look so much more realistic and short and thin make it more realistic as well. These colors from this seller, like these wigs are so cheap, these ones, and the colors are just so good. They're not, it's not like a monotone. It has a bunch of different colors in it to make it look like it's actually kind of real. Another cool thing is if you get these styles and you get, I mean, these are only like 17.99, so you can get them in a bunch of different colors. And since it's the same style and everything, people, could just think that you just dye your hair all the time. Camera's picking it up to be a little darker purple. Let me see if I could adjust the lighting. 
this isn't as purple as it looks on camera. This is more like a dusty rose maybe. Ugh, the quality inside of these is so much better than the other ones. There's just so much hair. Like just so, so much of it. This one's cool. The hairline's really good on this one. Every time you first put on a wig, you're like, oh my God, no. And then after you see yourself in it for a little bit, you start to like change your mind. That's literally what happened with all of these wigs. And now I want to keep like literally all of them. Like I hated this one at first, but the more I have it on, the more I like it. Again, like all the other ones, I am keeping the lace on because I'm going to probably return this one. But like this color is really cool. It's a nice little gray moment. All the Charisma wigs, their lace fronts are kind of the same. So this is the gray wig and it's actually kind of cool. The more I have it on, the more I like it. The length and the color is really cool. It's really different. Okay, so I cut the lace off and unfortunately the line here is so, even though it's a lace front wig, it didn't really have a lot of little hairs that come down in the front. This wig would need a ton of plucking in the front to make it look more realistic. Unfortunately, like because it's so black, it just like you could just see the line. There's no, you know, gradient between like hair and where it starts. I love, love, love the color, but I don't know that I would actually like wear this wig out. For sure, I'd wear it with a beanie, but I don't want to keep any of these wigs just because I'd wear it with a beanie. Maybe just like one. I would definitely do the short haired ones because they're way more realistic and easy to pop on and easy to maintain. Um, so I would probably choose one of those over these longer ones, but I do, again, I love the color of this one. I'm trying so hard to make it work and I'm trying to make excuses as to why I need it, but I really, I probably don't. All right, one more after this one. Oh, the bangs ones just keep getting stuff in my eyeballs. Guys, these ones keep winning. I keep really, really loving these. This one's a dirty blonde. As you can see, because it's cheap, it's like, lopsided like this side of the hair is coming up and the part down the middle on all of these kind is like questionable but i do like these ones a lot this one actually isn't bad at all i like like these ones are really good with their highlights the colors are really nice the layering the style the shortness and the thinness of the hair adds to the realistic factor of it i like this one much better than this one i'm definitely keeping this one so this is definitely a no but this one's still nice Somebody sent me the wrong color. There's supposed to be a long peachy pink color in here and I don't see it. Okay, there's like way too many purples. I thought I ordered pink. Okay, so this is my, the only long wavy one with a bang. So let's try this one on. They all fall exactly right into my eyes. Okay, so here is this one. Oof, I am not a fan. This wave. I don't really like anything about this one. So, especially not compared to the others. So this is what this one looks like. If anybody's interested, it's different. You might be able to brush some of these curls out. Not a huge fan of this style. And the top is like very unrealistic. Hey guys, so I was just editing this video and I realized that I didn't film an outro, so really, really sorry about that. Links to all of the wigs will be in the description below. Definitely head over to my Instagram and follow me. My tag is at HelloKristenTV. I'm going to be posting all kinds of wig outfit inspiration photos and how I'm actually wearing these out in public and how I'm styling them and stuff. So definitely head over there and follow me. Also, Ollie and Sharkbait have their own Instagram. If you want to go follow them, I will leave a link to their account down in the description below as well. Let me know in the comments what your favorite wig was and what my alter ego name should be when I'm wearing these wigs out in public. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss a future video, and it really, really supports my channel. Until next time. Uh -huh.